Good afternoon everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke, uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different in this video, and um, that's me talking to you right now while watching the video myself live in my uh, my little study that I got here, so hopefully you enjoy this. This is me basically talking to you and showing you how I did my uncouple, uh, and my coupling as well, which was to test standard, so what I thought I'd do is I would narrate what I'm doing. So what I did just there was uh, I took the tra put the trailer brake on uh, and then the next thing you do is you lower the legs. Now the really cool thing that my instructor taught me was that this was the very first thing that you do um, when the uh, when the examiner asks you to, to uncouple. The first thing you do is put the, the uh, trailer brakes on and then lower the trailer legs. And a really good way of remembering that was break a leg. Uh, seeing as that was the first thing that you're going to do on your test. So break a leg, trailer brakes, then trailer legs. So that's quite a quite a handy tip for anyone. I actually uh, really really thought that was a good um, good way of remembering. So that's fantastic. So I'm just fiddling around right now, trying to put this uh, handle back on. Next thing I should do is release the dog clip. So I've got to walk around the other side of the truck. <clears throat> um, one thing you'll notice is that uh, if you pay close attention, I got four different camera angles, but it was actually recorded over a couple of different days. So I'm actually wearing different clothes on one clip to another, and um, there's different people in the clips as well. So just undone the dog clip, then I gotta take the kingpin out, which remarkably I did straight away. Normally I struggle doing that. But um, I managed to do that straight away, so that was pretty cool. And then I should be pulling forward now. Just put the gloves away. Yeah, that's it. Put the gloves away. Get in the cab. Close the door. Start the engine. So we should roll forward. Uh, we are, on this particular lorry, we had to do what was called a, a split couple. Because the trailer was so f so close to the cab, you couldn't get in to undo any of the cables. So you see me there, like, driving forward a little bit, just to just to give me enough room to get in. I mean, I'm pretty big, but even slim people couldn't get in and do it. So um, yeah, I have to do a split couple. So move that fender to the side, climb on up, and then we start taking the Susies off. Um, I always took them off front to back and then uh, put them back on back to front so we start with the red one there then it was the white one actually no we're taking that one off first silly me <laughs> and then there's the white one there we go then we put the uh, the black one off <coughs> pardon me excuse me rather and then we take the last one, last one off. And yes, by the way, the trailer does say ISIS on it. <laughs> I believe that's the company it used to be called that. Right, so I climb on back down, jump in the cab, and I can roll forward. By the way, I am breathing heavy in some of these clips. It's not me right now. It's me on the day. This was the second attempt or so at me uh, uncoupling. And it, it's quite tiring, you know, for someone who doesn't really do it that often. So uh, I do apologise for the heavy breathing that you may hear. What I'm doing right now is I'm lowering the suspension. So I've just released the kingpin, I've undone the Suzies. Now I'm lowering the back end of the cab, or the, the back wheels of the cab. <coughs> so that um, it sort of pulls away from the bottom of the trailer. So I sh in theory, you can slide out a lot easier. Interesting fact, I didn't actually do that enough on my test. So when I tried getting out, I had to put on a lot more of acceleration to get out than actually what I should have done. But got out in the end. Oh, that's it. Close the door. So I'm now fully uncoupled. So I just drive forward now, and uh, you should see a couple of cool shots in a sec. There we go. So I'm now moving forward away from the trailer, and then you've got to um, reverse, um, reverse back to the side of the trailer, which is what I'm going to do now. <coughs> reverse on back. There we go. And then, when you get out of the cab, you've um, 
you've done what the instructor has asked, you've uncoupled from the trailer. So that's the first part done. What the instructor will now say is, um, okay, well, you're here now actually. Oh, I forgot to take the number plate off. I, I will um, take the number plate off. That's it. That's it. Good boy. So you can't quite hear what the instructor is saying because of the wind, but basically what he's saying is, um, right, this is now your trailer. You've never seen this trailer before. Please perform uh, an inspection on the trailer, make sure it's roadworthy, and then couple up to the trailer. So that's what I'm doing now. So I've sped this footage up because it's basically two minutes of me checking the vehicle over and um, getting a bore you to go up to life. So yeah, basically I'm checking all the wheels, checking the nuts, making sure the straps are nice and tight. Check the back doors were, you know, they shut properly and um, make sure that it's in general good, good order to be attached to. Later on we will check the lights, obviously when all the Susies are connected up, but at the moment we can't do that. So, trailer is good to connect to. So what we do is we jump in the cab, drive forward, line ourselves up with the trailer, which is what I'm going to do now. Now bear in mind that this is how you recouple to a trailer in test conditions. So you wouldn't just go straight under like you probably would if you've already got your license. You've got to do this to test conditions. And the way you do that is you pull short of the trailer and you've got to get out and just physically check with your eyes that you're lined up right, not just relying on your mirrors. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm getting out of the cab. And uh, you just got to basically walk around the cab, make sure you're lined up correctly. You know, see if you can eye up the kingpin. Which is what I'm doing there, look. Showing my ass crack at the same time. See, right now, look, there's like five people there. But now there's none. <laughs> It's because it was recorded over two days when there's two people there, not on this, on my uh, point of view footage. So what I do now is just kneel down, just double check that I can uh, get on properly. I'm happy with that. So what I do is get back in the cab again, reverse back. And again, because we had to split uncouple, we've got a split couple. So we don't go all the way in yet. I only go back another metre or so, just so I can connect the Susie's. And that's um, someone's phone going off in the cab. <laughs> right, so we go back a little bit more. We'll come back to this shot in a minute and you'll see it actually um, click into place. But for now, we've got to pull short, jump back out of the cab. Three points of contact, remember that. Move the fender back out of the way once I put my gay gloves on. That's it. Move the fender. We climb on up and then we've got to put these Susie's back on. So, like I said, to begin with, I, put, I took them off front to back. Now I put them on back to front. So, we start with the other side. It doesn't have to be done that way, as far as I'm aware. It's just the way that I was taught to do it. That way, you know things are going to go in the right place. That's it, two more to go, so put this white one in, and then we'll put the red one in, which uh, is the airline I think, yeah I'm sure it is. There we go, so the Susie's are now connected, so what we do now is jump, jump back down, probably put that fender back in, yeah, put the fender back in, and we should now raise the suspension so whereas we uh, put it down earlier so we can get out the trailer we now got to put it up so that the kinping is um, in line with the trailer itself so we can go straight in and click straight in basically that's it so I've uh, raised the suspension a little bit although you couldn't really see it but I did jump back in and then reverse back in to the trailer and get connected now, I think actually I needed to put some air in the system. No, it looks alright actually, I can see. So I whack in reverse. And we go back. So, we're about to see a cool shot. There we go. That's clicking back in. And what we've got to do now, uh, in test conditions, is to, is to do two shunts forward. So that's one. 
that's two, and then I'll do a third one. The reason I'll do a third one is because the first one wasn't very good. So I've done two good shunts forward just to make sure that I was attached. Excellent. Right, so now what we need to do is uh, self leveling now. Just so it's uh, easy to erase the trailer legs in a sec. <coughs> I should now go and put the dog clip back on. In fact, I think at the moment, yeah, I'm, I forget to do it and I'm like, should I do it? Should I do it? <laughs> and then I remember to do it. So, dog clip on. Reach that arm in. And put the dog clip on. Very fiddly. Very fiddly. But I got it on nice and quickly. There we go. Right, so now we um, got a few more things to do. So, right at the beginning, you break a leg. So, you put the trailer brakes on, then the trailer legs. But now you do it in reverse. So, now you take the trailer legs up, which I sped up just for uh, this sake. Uh, and once you do the trailer legs, you then take the trailer brake off. You then put your number plate on. And now I'm going to put the number plate on. Okay. There we go. And then check your lights. Check the lights for me. Okay, we'll do. Right, so now we're going to check the lights. So the, the instructor's at the back of the truck. Just got to make sure now the Suzy's are all connected properly. So we get in the cab, turn the ignition on. Uh, and we check the... Um, we put, put the main lights on. Then the indicators, and then the brakes. But I cut that bit out. Yeah, well done. Excellent. Feel good? Yep. Feel better? Yep. Feel a bit more confident with it. I was absolutely knackered. Feel hot. Yeah, it does knock you out. Especially with the legs. Could be a little bit worse because you're under pressure, but it just goes with that flow. Get it done. You'll have a bit more adrenaline going through your through your system. So use that to your advantage when you're doing the uncoupling, especially with the arm on the leg. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Really go for it on that. That made you feel a bit better. Fifteen minutes, well, sixteen minutes. Sixteen minutes it took me to do that. Look. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this, and uh, until next time, join safe. Bye bye.